Okay everyone, uh, so on today's video we're going to be teaching you how to install Blade & Soul, the Chinese version. So it's quite simple. First of all, I put in the link, uh, the links in the description below. First of all, you want to open up Ringo's BNS setup guide. This is a very old guide, however, it is still very accurate. So first of all, you go here, you open up the, the guide, and then you read the entire thing. Well, I'll go through it with you together right now, and, you know, this video might be a little bit long, but it's 100% worth it, because it'll solve 99% of all your problems installing the, the game. So, we'll scroll down here. So, these are useful links, blah, blah, blah. So, before you start, you just want to check your computer if it's actually able to run BNS. And if you bought your computer within the past 10 years, it, it'll run, so you're fine. So you can skip this part and go down here. Uh, there's a ping test thing there. You, he's got a tool that you can use to check your ping uh, for the Chinese server, the Taiwanese server, the Japanese server, etc. But, you know, I, I don't need to do that. So you scroll down here. So this is the one where everyone asks questions. So setting up a QQ account. Okay, so once you're here, the first thing you want to do is set up a QQ account. So how do I set up a QQ account? It's very simple. I open up Google first and I type QQ. And the first link, it's the en.mail.qq.com. I click on that one and it pops up with this menu. So in this menu, this wants you to log in normally, but I don't want to log in. I want to sign up. So you click sign up and this comes up. So when this comes up, it's exactly the same as the one in the picture over here. As you can see, email account, email account, blah, blah, blah. So now what you want to do is just start filling in the blanks. So you want you an email account, whatever your email wants to be, a nickname, a password, you confirm your password, your gender, your birthday, and your location. And you click sign up now. So after you click sign up now, it will move you to the, um, to the next section. So the next section over here will say that, um, you have a abnormal IP, abnormal activities from your IP, please continue after completing mobile verification. So everyone has to do this, including myself, and I'm in China. So you need to have a phone number. So as, as Ringo says over here, after hitting the setup button, you may get this page prompting for your mobile number. It's 100% now, everyone gets this prompt. Click on the underlined link to change your country region to whatever is appropriate. So if you're in, you know, if you're in the US, you click US. If you're in Japan, click Japan, etc. Do not use hyphens in your number. That's very important. Just write all the numbers. And if you don't have a mobile number, so I know a lot of people have some problems with their mobile phone, like they type it in, but they don't get a message or they don't get a verification code. There's a workaround. You can sign up for a free one using either Google Voice or you can go to Google and type in these keywords, free SMS service. And then you can um, find services that, free services that give you, uh, you know, you'll just write a phone number that they give you and then they'll send to you the code. Just make sure that you note down the mobile number and the code for future references in case your account gets compromised. Okay, uh, blah, blah, blah. If you didn't get it, you'll be fine. So after you get your verification, you'll be taken to a page with your QQ number. So don't lose the QQ number. Everything you do on the, on BNS or any Tencent related, uh, program requires that QQ number. So write it down, save it somewhere and just keep it. So installing the actual game, installing the actual game. This part has changed a little bit. Okay. So first of all, you come onto the main site, which is bns.qq.com. You'll be, oh, you'll be led into this page and you don't want to touch anything here. You just want to click on the first one over here. If you look in fine, like at the fine print, so make it bigger. You can see here that it says fast download. Just click on that one. Okay. So after you click on fast download, it'll download the, the client and it will be called over here. BNS 2.227.6, blah, 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 blah. So you just open it up. Okay. Once you open it up, you'll be greeted by this page over here. 
um, by this thing over here. And then so there's a button here that lets you log in. And this button over here lets you select where you want to save the file. It's only an install file, so it's not actually the entire game. And then whenever you, if you logged in, you type in your regular QQ number to log in. And then there's this blue, um, blue Sapphire membership. So if you don't have it, don't worry about it. Just download the game normally. It will take a while if you're not a blue, blue Sapphire member. Basically, it's telling you, oh, are you a VIP? If you're a VIP, you can download the game faster. If you're not, then they're just gonna, they're gonna throttle your download speeds. But, you know, there's, they're gonna throttle it anyway. That, that's just a thing in China. So you just click download and then just leave it overnight. I highly recommend you just to leave it overnight. It's going to take a couple hours and then just let it download. Okay. So let's see. Let's see what is the next step on Ringo's thing. So after you've downloaded the client, uh, you can now launch the game. So after the client is all downloaded, you'll see that there's this, uh, this icon on your, on your desktop. So you open it. So once it's opened here, you'll have you'll be greeted with this page. You can use click that to stop the animation if it's causing any lag. And then the first thing you want to do is you want to type in your QQ number. So let me just find my QQ number since I always save mine. Okay. So once you've launched the game, that you'll see an entire list of servers. So for you guys who don't have Chinese installed, the chances are very high that you're not going to have any Chinese words on these. These are all just going to be blank for you. So what you want to do is, if you want to play on my server, you have to click on this one, Dian, Dian Xing Ten. But if you if it's all blank, you can just look at the thing and then just go one, two, three, four. Server number four coming down here. Or you can look at this tab. You see there's lines over here, so there's like section 1 over here, there's a section 2 over here, and this big one is section 3, and here's section 4. Go to section 3, and go 1, 2, 3, and click on this one. This is the server that I play on, but you know, you can, you can go on other servers. So the reason why there's that is because uh, we have a lot of players on the Chinese server. So yeah, you want to come to this one if you want to play with me, okay? So now we can close this. Duh, 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 duh. All of these are not important. Okay, this is important. So if it's your first time creating the account and launching the game and you, f you found the server that you wanted and you click onto it and launch it, you will most likely get this message. And a lot of people, when they get this message, they get really scared because it's a you know it's black and orange and they've never seen this before. So don't worry. It's quite easy. Uh, this pop-up just means like, oh, you know, you're a new account. Please verify your, you know, your name, your passport, and all that crap. Obviously, this is mainly for Chinese players because we take cheating seriously. So we want people to bind their passport with their account. So if they do do an offense, you know, the, the, the player himself is actually banned from all the games or from this specific game because it's bound to their passport. But don't worry, if you don't have a Chinese passport, you can still get around this. So first of all, you uh, you click on this link at, over here. There's like a jkyx.qq.com link at the side. So you wanna click on that. So once you click on that, you'll be directed to this page over here. So in this page, you wanna go to the very bottom at, it says like point number three, you wanna click on it, okay? then it'll bring you to this page. And it's, don't fill up any of this stuff, just click on the very bottom, there's another link over here. So once you click on that, uh, you will be directed to this page over here. It'll be like one, two, three, four, four rows to fill out. So first of all, you wanna write your name. You can write, you don't have to write your real name. You can write a, a nickname, you can write a username, a placeholder name, whatever. And then you can write uh, your passport, but for your passport, or you can use your driver's license, any any of these, you can just, um, no, sorry. There's a drop down menu over here and you want to select passport, which is this one right here. Let me, let me just put this big. I will put uh, Ringo's thing into the, in the link 
in the description below, but you want to do this one. This one is passport. Then you just type in any random numbers. As Ringo says here, write, uh, you can write a fake number. Uh, you can write any sequence of numbers and letters. You can make it up. If an orange or red error message appears, it means the sequence isn't valid. Experiment with adding more numbers slash letters to it. Remember your fake number. If it, if it gets passed, if it's okay, just make sure that you write it down and save it somewhere. You'll need you'll need it to retrieve your password if you forget it, as well as if you want to purchase cash shop items, uh, no, cash shop points with real money, you will also need it. The rest of the field should be self-explanatory. Make sure your birthday matches with the fake birthday you made earlier. Keep the two drop down downs as the characters below and you can write your name in English. So let's review. First one, write your name in English. Select passport. Enter gibberish. Make sure to remember whatever the gibberish was if it passes. Uh, next one is your birthday. The, the year, the month, and the day. Then over here is you drop down this. Uh, this is called others, others, and then you can leave this blank if you want. So after that, you'll be able to launch the game. So after you filled that out, this this thing will go away and it'll be done, okay? So you can launch the game normally. So what you want to do is make sure that you launch the game normally in Chinese before applying the English patch. Make sure that you can do that, okay? So once you can launch the game and everything, this will pop up. This is asking for your account nickname. It's not your character nickname, it's your account nickname. Think about it like Guild Wars, Guild Wars 2. It was like your family name. So it's like all your characters share this sort of family name. So over here, you can write whatever your account name wants to be. And then after that, after you create a character, uh, there'll be a menu of like sub servers. Go to this server. Okay, so after that, the next thing is uh, installing the TGP booster. So TGP actually gives you a, it's like a free, it's a free ping booster basically. So that's quite easy. You just go to go to this site. It's called tgp.qq.com and I'll launch it. Okay, so once you've uh, come to the site, that tgp.qq.com, this website will pop up. You click, good, I'm not blocking it. You click this over here and then this will pop up and you just click download and that's it. And that's tgp will download and it will install, okay? So after you've opened up TGP, this will pop up. If you have Blade and Soul already installed and running, it will auto detect Blade and Soul at the side. It will auto detect it over here. So once you've downloaded TGP, your interface will look like this. Okay. So if you've downloaded and installed Blade and Soul, it will automatically pop up on the left corner over here, over here, the left corner. Okay. So once it's there, you just click on it. And then you can do a free roll every day, but after you've logged into your account, and it'll tell you like all the events that are going on. There's no English patch for this, unfortunately. So you're just gonna have to figure it out yourself or maybe watch my videos. And then, so what you wanna do here is click this. You wanna select a server. If you're playing through TGP because you want the ping booster, you wanna use this. So you click on this arrow, click on others, so once this comes up, this will be in Chinese. It won't be blank. So you want to find, you click on the first tab over here, which is Dianxing, which is the, it was like the third tab with all the big stuff at the side. And then you want to click on the server on the most right side here. It says Dianxing 10. 10, just, just look at the one that has a cross. That one is 10. Click on that and then click confirm. And it'll be here. It'll say Dianxing 10 at uh, the bottom left corner as well as the ping which is as 30 for me it might say something different for you and then you just click play and then it'll launch the game automatically so i'll show you right now you click that and you'll be launched straight into the game and as you can see here that i have multiple characters i can't cr actually create a character here but you can see at the right side over here on the right side over here that that this is the server that i'm on it's like something, something, two, something, this one. Just make sure you click on this server. I'll make it bigger now. And uh, yeah, just join that server, okay? 
And yeah, that's it. That's it with making your account. Nice and simple. And if you want to install the English patch, please watch my other video because I don't want this video to be too long. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. What can I say except you're welcome for the heels, the boost, so red.